Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, today we're going to do another segment of the cleaning table. We're going to be cleaning a barracuda. So I'll be seeing you guys at the cleaning table. All right, guys, I got my big barracuda here. And the uh, thing about barracuda, a lot of people say they're poisonous, that they have a cigatera poison and they can kill you. Well, this is true. This is a very true statement. But also, Big red snappers, big cabrera snappers, big grouper, AJs, all those fish also carry cigatera poisoning. So basically what it boils down to, you gotta find out if there's any cases of cigatera in the area that you live in. In my area where I live, in Volusia County, Florida, there has never been a case of cigatera poisoning. So the barracuda and all your large reef fish are safe to eat in this area and I've been eating barracuda pretty much my whole life and I have never been sick I've never known anybody to get sick so I'm not gonna sit there and say barracudas will not make you sick that you cannot get cigatera poisoning but if you live in an area where you're keeping big AJ's big grouper big snappers and you're okay Chances are your barracuda will also be okay. And I have to tell you right now that barracuda is an excellent fish to eat. It is awesome. It is right up there with snappers and groupers. It is excellent. Now, as you can see, it's really not that hard of a fish to clean. Pretty easy, actually. Nice big slab of meat right there. All right. Try the other side here. Spin it around. But if you want to be play it safe, when you're first starting out eating barracuda, just keep the smaller ones. You know, keep them under, under 30 pounds, which this one's under 30 pounds. This is considered a, a fairly small cuda. I have eaten them as big as 50. There we go, we got our two slabs of cuda right there. Put this over here. Clean all this up. Barracuda, my favorite way to eat it is deep fried. It's also very good on the grill. It's excellent blacking. Wow, it's starting to make a lot of noise next door. It's excellent blacking. You pretty much cannot mess this fish up. It is actually that good. If I could uh, pick a fish that it's really close resemblance to, I would almost say Wahoo. It's very similar to Wahoo. But it is an excellent fish, y'all. Look how good that meat looks. Don't get that much of a bloodline. 
easily comes out but that is a nice piece of meat I mean look at that y'all seriously it is not a fishy fish a very mild tasting fish so I actually hope you guys try it but like I said make sure you check out the area that you live in but if you're keeping AJ's and eating big AJ's eating big grouper eating big snapper I'm gonna say you're pretty much good but Just make sure you check with your local fish markets and see if there's been any cases just to be on the safe side. And me personally, when I'm fishing, if I'm fishing south of Fort Pierce Inlet, I usually do not keep Barracuda because I'm not real familiar with that area. So I pretty much stick to my area up here, which is anything north of Fort Pierce. Alright, look at that guys. I mean that is some good looking meat. Seriously. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, me cleaning the barracuda. I know some people are kind of on the fence about eating barracuda. It's actually a really good fish. Just check the area that you live in. Make sure that you have no cases of cigatario poisoning, and you should be fine. If you can eat the big grouper, big snapper, and amberjack in your area, the barracuda should be awesome. Well, guys, I appreciate you all for watching, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead right now, hit that subscribe button, and that little bell for notifications. And if you have subscribed to this channel, I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you. Well, guys, I get to see you again soon here on the water. Tight lines, y'all.